Hello, my beautiful drone flying friends. So today we're gonna to talk about the three best drones that are not made in China. Now I get it. Consumers are becoming more and more aware of things like data security, about human rights issues, and also just about supporting the industries in their own countries. And so even though China has become a bit of a powerhouse when it comes to electronics, innovation in the drone space, we are now looking for other, I guess, opportunities to support locally manufactured uh, innovative products and drones are no different. So in this article, I'm gonna talk about the three top drones that I think you should consider if you want to buy a drone that isn't manufactured, produced in China. Um, but this video is based on an article on droneflyingpro.com. So go check out that. I'll put a link in the description to that article. It has, uh, let's have a look, another four options for you that I think are awesome. But in this video, I'm just gonna cover the top three. Um, there are plenty of options for you, which is fantastic. And so uh, let's get straight into it. Let's look at what I think is probably the most uh, important drone or most useful and clever drone on this list. So the first drone that I think you should seriously consider is the Parrot Anafi. The Parrot Anafi is a fantastic drone. Now, where they're competing in the DJI realm is with the kind of lower end, which we're kind of looking somewhere at the DJI uh, Spark and Mini up to just below the DJI Pro series. But these are fantastic drones, there's no doubt about it. Um, go check out their website because they have a ton of really useful camera features, thermal imaging, zoom to just name a couple. And uh, I love that the camera also does 180 degrees, which means not only can you get a vertical straight down, but also a vertical straight up viewpoint, which is fantastic for a load of construction um, and sort of industrial uses to check out structures. That's something that the DJI drones just don't do. And the zoom aspect is fantastic fantastic because typically you have to spend a fair amount of money to get that. Uh, that's changing, but that's true for when these drones were first produced. Now, the great thing about Parrot is that it is made in France. So it is not China. It is a wireless manufacturer um, that uh, kind of found their place in the in the drone world. I don't know if what by accident, but they found it. Um, they used to do a lot of stuff with Bluetooth and wireless devices. And in 2015, they launched into the market with their very own drone, the Bebop drone. So I think this is a fantastic drone that you should consider. Now, the features that it's got is a 2.8 uh, time zoom which I love. I've talked about the 180 degree um, vertical movement of the camera. It's inexpensive and it has a relatively low noise. So uh, it's perfect for wildlife photography. It's perfect for uh, anyone that wants to dip their toes into the drone market with the kind of advanced features that they come to love and expect from a company like DJI, but it is uh, not a Chinese company and and it comes with all these powerful features. And I'm looking at the footage online that I can see of the Parrot and Effie, and the footage is just stunning. So it is a drone that a serious drone photographer could use, um, but I think it's priced perfectly for the kind of beginner drone market as well. The second drone that I think you should consider is the Autel, the Autel Evo series in particular. So uh, Autel Robotics was founded in 2014. They are based in the USA. Now um, they are not looking at the kind of entry level drones. So not the Spark or the Mini or the Tello, that sort of stuff. They are fixed on the pro DJI kind of pro area and their entry level Evo model model starts at 1495 US dollars so 1500 is kind of towards that mid range it's that it's that kind of price where serious photographers 
um, start entering the market and the hobbyists are just at the top of their kind of pain point for price, I think. Um, in 2015, they released a drone called the X-Star and have now since moved on to the Evo series. The Evo series has three drones and it's basically different drones for different purposes. Um, so go check out the website because the drones here are fantastic. Uh, it is, like I said, a USA based company. And so if you want to support uh, US based manufacturers, the Autel Evo series is certainly a drone that you should consider buying. The third drone on this list is one that has got me a little bit excited, I'll be perfectly honest with you. It is the Skydio. The Skydio is 100% based in the USA. Um, and the one thing I love about this is not only is the hardware in the USA, but also they completely control the supply chain of all of their electronic components, uh, which means that if there's like another COVID situation or you just wanna make sure 100% that uh, China is not involved in any way in the manufacturing and flying of this drone, then this is a great company to look at. Um, software is all developed in-house as well. Now, uh, this is a company that spawned out of MIT. So the founders of this company met in MIT in 2009. Um, there they helped kind of pioneer this uh, autonomous drone technology. And this is why I'm so excited about this drone is because it is fully autonomous. Um, you can uh, sort of control it a, a number of ways. So first of all, you've got this beacon, this Skydio beacon that you kind of attach to yourself and you just do what you do and it follows you. Um, you can also control it with an app and also a controller. But the one thing I love about this is that they have really thought about why people are buying drones. This drone essentially does the flying and you do the doing, which is part of their tagline, which I absolutely love. Um, it is fully autonomous. It starts at about 1,000 US dollars, which is the perfect price range for someone who is maybe a little bit of a thrill seeker, a little bit of an adventurer, but wants to capture that kind of excitement on camera. And uh, the one thing I love, they've got a, uh, a video on their website, go check it out, where they, do the follow me with a DJI drone and them. And essentially there's just absolutely smashes it because when you're traveling through trees with your DJI drone, the DJI software and, and, a, and obstacle avoidance only goes so far. And it's really limited by what I can see by the uh, sensors and the cameras that the drone uses to kind of look around. The great thing about the Skydio though, is the fact that it has 360 degree obstacle avoidance with high definition cameras. This gives what I have not seen before, which is like this unparalleled ability to avoid obstacles. Um, and the great thing about this is that uh, you can you can sort of whiz through trees, through forests, and it just follows. You know, the, uh, that's one thing I've got. I've got the DJI Mavic Air, and I absolutely freak out when I go anywhere near trees and overhanging branches. But this it seems to be a super strong point of this drone is that they will um, they will go anywhere with you and all you have to do is attach a little beacon to yourself and it will keep up. Uh, so it's an incredible bit of kit, completely made in the USA and uh, it is certainly a drone that if you're looking for a drone that is not made in China, um, you should completely consider this. The only downside I can see at the moment is that uh, it it's about a 20 minute flight time. So, uh, you know, the, the higher end DJI drones are pushing more than about 30 minutes of flight time. So you do have to accept that maybe it's a little bit lighter, um, maybe it's working harder to follow you, but I think 20 minutes of flight time is more than enough for most people to capture some awesome footage. So it certainly wouldn't put me off. Now, go check out the article on droneflyingpro.com. The link is in the description because I've also got drones like the Free Fly, I'm scrolling through it now, the Dragonfly. Uh, I've also got the Impossible Aerospace, which is made in the USA, and also the Agua drone, which is one that I've not seen yet. I, I'm interested to see how that goes. Um, but yes, there are plenty more options. And people don't want to buy a drone from China, and I, like I said, I think it's really two reasons. The first one is that in 2020, 
2020, uh, the famous COVID year, uh, the, the security experts looked at the DJI app and they saw that DJI was collecting a huge amount of data from your flight, from your phone, and lots of personal information uh, that could be used by the Beijing government because if you have a, a company based in China, my understanding at the moment is that uh, all that information is accessible by the, the Chinese government. Um, so the security issues that come with a, a Chinese-based drone are very real. And if you're working for your government or you know you just wanna be extra secure to make sure that um, you're not sending any information overseas, then buying a drone not from China is awesome, uh, is an awesome way to do that. And the second thing, uh, which is something that a lot of us like to kind of not think about very often, which is the human rights issues. Um, you know, China, has become a powerhouse in terms of the manufacturing of certain uh, items. You know, the made in China tag is just ubiquitous uh, from all, you know, across a range of industries and technologies. But there's no doubt that uh, there are loads of workforce issues in China. And, um, you know, the, the joy that we have of buying new cheap electronic items comes at the cost of some human lives. And, and um, you know, with uh, China growing to a large ec uh, economy, there's still 500 million citizens who are currently living in uh, poverty and earning less than $2 a day. And the Chinese government does crack down on a bunch of different uh, human rights things. Um, workers are, technically guaranteed 40 hours work week, but uh, local governments don't under, uh, don't enforce this because they're underpaid and understaffed. And also uh, Chinese government cracks down on activists uh, if they even try to speak out about this. So those are just two of the reasons why I think uh, buying a drone not from China is gonna become more and more popular, um, especially from an international market. Let me know in the comments what you would add to that list. And also remember to subscribe to Drone Flying Pro, this channel, go check out the website and uh, turn on those notifications because I'm gonna share with you everything that I learned while growing out my website, droneflyingpro.com. All right, I shall see you in the next video.